Hello everybody, and welcome back. Today we are playing Psych, and this is part three. This is the final part, I don't care how long it takes me, because I think I'm getting to the end. That so you're in this for the long haul, with me. For libations tonight, I made another one of the, uh, those scary things that don't actually exist. They're not bad. All right, let's do this. You are such a hopeless case, Alex. I should have stayed in the clinic. Wait a minute. Isn't that one of Sam's shoes? Where is she? What? Pardon? Well, they could only- I mean, she only has two shoes, so... I can't imagine I'm supposed to go back in here. No. Follow Sam's shoes. Wait, what? Are you kidding? Sorry. <laughs> How the fuck did you idiots lose that little girl? That's just a stupid little kid. We are going to split up. First one to find the girl gets to keep her after I'm done with oh, her. Okay. Go now. Move and fucking search. We'll find you, little one. Get ready. What is that this? must be Sam. But who the hell is that and what do they want from her? I need to call the police quickly. No, not now. <coughs> Fucking hell. I can use the phone booth in the park, but they mustn't see me. Then I can call the police. Alright, let's jump over this thing. What the hell are our men doing here, and what has Sam got to do with it? So, hmm. This should be interesting. <laughs> they probably stay on the paths, I would assume. Okay. So I think it's past... Pond. It's right there, I can see it. Oh, I'm gonna have to time this. Oh, there's two of them? Okay. <laughs> no. Wait. Oh! <laughs> he did. Do you remember how we used to feed the ducks at the pond back then? Yes, I do. One duck even came so close to you afterwards that it pecked you in the hand. <laughs> yes, that hurt. I lured them away. Yes. Be happy. Of course I'm happy. Not everyone has such a great brother. Really? 
Is that how you think of me? Are you stupid? Of course I think so. How many times have you protected me? From mom and dad, from supposed friends, from stupid boys, and now from ducks. Oh, Sam, thank you so much. Did he protect you Sometimes in the car accident? I just feel like I don't do enough for you, you know? Don't be like that. You're a great brother. You always have been, Alex. I do my best. I promise. And that's exactly why you need to open your eyes, Alex. Do it. Do it for me. Please. But it's so exhausting, Sam. Life is so damn exhausting. I know. I really do. But you have to live. Life is a gift. A blessing and a curse. A double-edged sword that you must learn to handle. But I... <sighs> okay. I'll open my eyes. I'm only doing this for you, Sam. This poor guy. He's just woken up in unsuspecting areas so many times. Oh my god, the guys are back. So I didn't get shot? This way. Right? This is where the pond is. Oh, it's right there. So did I... So did... Did I actually mess that up? What is this? Oh, there's a note. Hold on. Emily, my beloved Emily, how could such cruelty have been done to you? Now I stand here looking at your motionless, beautiful body in the moonlight. Even as a corpse, you are so beautiful and, and unique, my dear. You should have had- You should have had Jack for me, not that idiot. We could have been together forever, Emily. With me- With me, Brian. With me. Wait. Now wait a damn minute. You should have had Jack for me, not that idiot. We could have been together forever, Emily. With me. Brian. With me. It makes me so mad that you took him and not me. I was supposed to be your husband. I- Damn it. Why am I getting so upset now anyway? I could fish your body out of the pond and- Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. You bad finger. What are you up to? I'm gonna have to pull myself together and- But this body, Emily. I just can't resist you, beautiful. Don't worry. Once I have Jack- Am I in trouble? What's happening? I'm pressing space. What's happening? I wanted to read what this said. Every I'll be the father Jack deserves. Everything will be alright. My dear, I love you, Emily. What's happening? It's not letting me. So... Was it actually Brian who killed her? And then Paul blamed himself? And then Paul went into... The... Scary... Oh? Oh shit! No! Wait! Okay, so that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, I gotta make sure there's no guys around. So I was like basically inside before and then that guy got me. Okay, here he comes. Did he turn around? Nine one one. 
Anyone with your emergency? Hello? This is Alex Green. I'm at the Winevale Park. There are several armed men here looking for my little sister Sam. Please, come quickly. Oh, God. <sighs> Another nightmare. Ooh. Ah, damn it. I wonder what he was watching. I have to take my pose. Any light switches anywhere? I should go back to sleep. It's late. Okay. Oh, turn all the lights off. Okay. I love the sound of the water. The, the rain outside, it sounds very comforting and nice. Just leave the TV on. That's what I always do. No? Does that count? Too loud. Now I'm scared. How do I turn this off? Oh, what the? I turned this off. I'd already switched that off. Hmm. I'd already switched that off. Again? This is really strange. Bruh. What's going on here? What the? My Ouija board! This can't be true. The Ouija board is moving. Sam? What does that mean? What just happened? For real. All right, off to bed. Oh my god, let me go to sleep. Okay. Front door? No? Window? Where was that from? Hello? <gasps> it was Momo. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> My front door is cracked. My teacup. No. My favorite one. Who's there? <laughs> okay, time for bed. Who could that be at this hour? No. No one here. All right, sounds Did good. I imagine that. I really didn't think it could be so fun. You see, I've always told you that video games are awesome and you never believe me. <laughs> Maybe you should have tried to convince me more. You used to play even more. That's true, but I ended up with a really cool job and fulfilled That's him. Dreams. That's me. Hey, Sam. Is that you? Hello? Is anyone there? Who's there? This is Alexander Green from Flat 2B. I just heard my little sister Sam behind the door. Is she there? Sam, what are you doing? What? Is this a joke? I'm Alexander Green and I live in 2B. How do you know about my sister? Are you kidding me? Open the door, Sam. Get out of there now. 
Who is this lunatic you've been hanging out with? Alex? Who is that? And why does he know my name? I don't know who that is. Just ignore him. Am I Momo? I'm just like you. I have goosebumps. It's me, Sam. Your brother Alex. Don't you recognize me? Listen, buddy, I don't know who you are or how you know us, but please do us a favor and just go away. Otherwise, I'll be forced to call My Ouija board just said Shut your name. Your fucking mouth. I don't know what you're doing with Sam, but if you don't open the fucking door, I'm going to break it down. Alex, this guy scares me. Okay, that's enough. Sam, please go to my room and lock the door. I'm calling the police now. I can't lose any time. I have to get this door open somehow. Sam, your brother will save you. Wait for me. Let's bang her down. Get something to break in. What do I need to break in? I have my own house keys. I could just use those. Oh, perfect. A crowbar's right here. I'm gonna open this fucking door now. Yeah! Sam, where are you? It's me, Alex. This is sad. Where the hell did they go? The flat looks exactly like mine. How can that be? The computer is left on. Wait a minute. These are my emails. What the? From the bank. From the shop. I'll be delivered. Money trick. I hope you're happy with your new car. What the hell? Not letting me do anything. Okay. Oh. Unknown number. <gasps> Answer it. Hello, Alex. Hello? Who is this? <laughs> Someone you know very well. What? Spit it out. Who are you and how did you get my number? You're sitting at the computer right now, aren't you? What the? How do you know that? Haven't I already said that I know you very well? Are you here? In my flat? I'm calling the police. You don't have to. I've already done that. Excuse me? I have a little surprise for you. I'm hanging up. Can you do me a small favor before you do that? I'm gonna say what turn the hell around. Do you want from me? Can you turn towards the bathroom? Why? Someone is waiting for you there. <gasps> Damn! What? I'm back what in the happened? power station again. Where am I? Shit. I can't move my arms. <gasps> I've been tied to the chair. Isn't that the powerhouse in the park? Oh, <sighs> my head. Oh, my head. I need to untie myself here somehow. The chair is made of wood. I should be able to break the armrests when I swing from side to side and forward the chair to the floor. Oh! <laughs> I was like, this is gonna take forever. Did it work? It worked. Okay. I'm free of the ties. Nice. Uh, can I just leave? Okay. Locked. If I take the fuse out of the power box, the electricity will surely go off again. I have to use this chance to get someone to come here. Then I can escape. Okay. Now we wait. Can I fight him with the broom? They mustn't see me when they come in. I should hide next to the door. This door, or should I hide this way? Come on. Somebody. Alex, are you in there? I found the key what? on the way here. I'll get you out. Sam? Oh, thank God. Please, hurry. Let's get out of here quickly. Should 
Should I try to leave? This way, Alex. What way? Where are you? I can't see you. I can't see her. What the? Sam? Are those bad guys still around? Should I be hiding? Wait for me. Hey! Slow down! Okay. Seems like it's just me and Sam left in the park. Those guys have gone. If you don't hurry up, I'm going home without you. What the hell, bitch? Sam, where are you? What's all this then? Sam! Oh, thank God. Please, let's get out of here quickly. Sam? Sam? You still don't get it. Please, just tell me where Sam is. Aren't you tired of looking for her? I would go to the ends of the earth to find Sam. You are so pathetic. There's a much quicker way to find Sam. What do you mean? What way? Do you see that pond in front of you? I do. Why? Close your eyes. And jump in. What the fuck? Why should I? Because you can only see Sam again when you leave this earth. Stop saying that. Sam was just here. Don't you think a painful truth is more important than a beautiful lie? That's what I used to say. Face the reality, Alex. Wake up already. But Sam wasn't only your sister. She was also my sister. Then she really is. Life on this earth has no meaning. How much suffering have we already had to experience? How much pain have we had to feel? How many blows of fate do we still have to suffer? Why can't we just have a wonderful life? I... I don't know. Gather up your courage and end this suffering already. Sam, I'm only doing this for you. Sam, please forgive me. Failure? I can't be the brother you wanted. I don't have the strength anymore. I just can't do it, no matter how hard I try. Every time I take a step forward, it feels like I'm taking two steps back at the same time. It's a vicious cycle that I can't escape. The next time I see you, I'll have to confess this to you. Your brother is a loser, Sam. A lost lunatic that you can't be proud of. I'm so sorry, Sam. <sighs> I'm alive. I'm so sorry, Sam. I guess I wasn't the brother you deserved. If only I had looked out for you more. You are such a pathetic idiot, Alex. You couldn't even protect your own little sister. Hmm. I need to get out of here. I should leave the park and go to Mum and Dad's house. I'm still very interested in this. My memories are so foggy. Exit the park to the south entrance.
I'm getting the hang of this. Is that ah. a person lying there? Sam? Sam? Hey, can you hear Don't me? Don't move. This is Juan Val Police. There's a person lying on the floor here. I, I need help, quickly. What? What? How can that be? What? Is this the man? Yes, this is the crazy guy who has been chasing me the whole damn time and won't leave me alone. What's going on here? Am I? drama am i the problem hello my name is elon o'reilly i'm the chief of i read his name in a and my colleague article and i just have a, a few questions for you regarding your visit to winevale park could you I'll first you me know. you've arrested me and brought me here i've done nothing wrong but one thing at a time what's your name age and address alex alexander green to be exact i'm 26 years old and i live not far from here Okay, Alex. Where exactly have you been in the last few days? I was... I was in a clinic. I only got released today. In a clinic? What kind of clinic? And why? A year ago, I was in a serious car accident. The accident was so bad that I developed a mental disorder after receiving medical treatment. They thought that I should be taken to the clinic for mental illness. Here. Mental illness. <laughs> Then is that, Can you turn that light really up? true? Why would I lie? Take it easy, Alex. You were at the Wine Whale Park tonight. What were you doing there? I was going to meet my little sister at the park. The day after tomorrow, she turns 16. So we wanted to go to my parents' house and prepare everything and celebrate my release. I've not seen my family for a year. The document here is correct, isn't it? It is. I took his driver's license and checked it against our database. The match with the fingerprint was 100% successful. Okay, Alex. You were saying you were going to meet your sister in the park. Is she your stepsister? No, we have the same parents. Why? What is it? Alex, you don't have any siblings. Whoa, what? You're an only child. Excuse me? Alexander Green, born on the 20th of February, 1994. Your My parents, Arthur and Megan Green, have had only one child since then. That would be you, Alex. You have no siblings. Yeah. Explain something me. to me. That is not true. How? You stay here, Alex. We're going to go outside for a moment and contact the clinic that released you. Hey, explain this to me. What do you mean I don't have any siblings, goddammit? This just can't be true. How can you lie to someone like this? You're not seriously stupid enough to believe those two, are you? Of course not. What bullshit. You also saw Sam earlier when she was lying on the ground. Why are you sitting here so idly? Do something. I think that you are not a bad person. Just let me think. You don't have time to think. Get up and go to the door. Listen to what those guys are saying about you. The policemen just now. They just went to contact the clinic, didn't they? And you're really going to believe them? Go to the door and listen for yourself. This guy's out of his mind. He's seriously looking for a person that doesn't exist, that he thinks is his sister. What a lunatic. <gasps> there are so many crazy idiots these days. Maybe we should just lock him away so he can search for his little sister in a cold and lonely cell. This can't be true. They're making fun of me. Why don't you do something about it? Oh, I don't know what else suggesting? to do. Let me help you one last time. Turn around and look at the table. <laughs> All right. What are you going to do? <laughs> Not me, Alex. You. What should I do? End it. Once and for all. You can see what the world thinks about us. Oh, you he wants me to die. People just laugh that he us. wanted me to like, go out guns blazing. Can't just shoot them. Oh, well, he... if not then. Okay. Then yourself. 
Trust me. Take the gun in your hand. I'll help you. Can I not? Okay. I'm so tired of the way the world looks down on me. All I ever wanted to do was be good and help people. Instead, all of my life I've only been kicked and beaten down. You're absolutely right, Alex. Now hurry up before they come back. I hate the world so much, but- Hurry the fuck up. Face your fear and pull the trigger. I don't want to do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I was literally lifting my hand up to show you guys that I wasn't going to do it. Oh, you're awake. Where am I? <sighs> you can't remember again. No, well, I shot I myself can't. in the head. <laughs> my memory is so foggy. Okay, let me help you. Or maybe I didn't. We're I guess I'm start crazy. A question and answer session so I can see what else you remember. Who are you? Alexander Green. Alex. Hmm. Okay. Oh, was that the wrong Where answer? Are you? Probably at the hospital. In the clinic? I see. Oh, I forget the British people just what say in happened? hospital. I've been arrested. Interesting. How many siblings do you have? Apparently none. I don't know. Hmm. What happened a year ago? A car crash. I had a car accident. Apparently, you still can't remember what? properly. I am your doctor. You are in the Winevale Clinic, where we recently released you. Uh, Ow! Damn, these headaches. So the headache is still there. Uh, wait here. I'll get you some pills. Was all of this just a little... Hello, Alex. Sam, is that you? <laughs> of course I am, you silly. But how can that be? Where did you come from? I was told I had no siblings. We were supposed to meet in the park. I went looking for you when you didn't show up. Besides, what do you mean you don't have any siblings? Who said that? Uh, I can't remember. My head feels so heavy. Alex, no matter what anyone says to you, you are and will always be my brother, okay? Uh, my head, please. Help me. Hmm. Everything will be fine, Alex. Here are your pills. Thank you. What is wrong with me? Let's find out. We will now dive into your thoughts, just as we did back then. Focus on my voice and let it guide you. Okay. Hmm. Close okay. your eyes and focus on your own thoughts. Can you hear me, Alex? Yes, yes, I can. Very good. Now open your eyes. Uh, what do you see, Alex? Not again. I can see the entrance to Winevale Park ahead of me, where I was going to meet Sam. Interesting. Try to enter the park, Alex. Okay. It's not letting me run. Okay, I'm in the park. Hello? I'm being called. From Sam. Focus, Alex. It's not Sam calling you. That was me. Uh what? Hello, Alex. I'm calling about an anomaly in your report. It's quite urgent. Where are you right now? What kind of anomalies? I'm in Winevale Park at the moment. I was going to meet my sister Sam here. Your sister? Alex, you don't have any siblings. What are you talking about? Anyway, could you please come to your camera? Hello? Can you hear me? What the hell is going on? Okay.
Hello, Alex. Huh? Who is speaking? What? You can't even remember your own sister's voice? S -S Sam? Where are you? Come to the construction site and meet me there. I have something to show you. Okay. okay. I'll be right there. Hello? Oh, hi Sam. I won't look at your face. Let me see that thing. Sam, is that you? Uh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. Uh, oh. Stop it. Get over here. Stop it. Uh. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> I just <laughs> imagine him just like tripping over his own shoelaces in the park by himself. Just like what that would look like to an outsider. Uh, what guy. just happened? Hey. <gasps> Excuse me. You look familiar somehow. Have I seen you before? It's Mama. Hello? Is there anyone else here? Where is Sam? Oh, there's someone over there. Hello? Hi! No! <laughs> Easy, Alex. You're back. Don't worry. What the hell was that? Well, that was your thoughts and emotions hiding deep inside you. With each dive into your mind, we get closer to clearing your mind so that you can remember again. I heard Sam's voice. And then there were these strange shadows. And the guy on the other side of the bench. Don't worry. It was all your imagination. <laughs> it is important that you face these things to remind yourself of the truth. I understand. Are you ready for the next dive, Alex? I think so. It's gonna put me in the yeah. sewers again. As before, focus on my voice. Close your eyes and relax. On three, open your eyes. One, two. Don't put me in the sewer. Three. Ah. Where are you right now, Alex? I'm in the underground. I think, in the sewers, to be exact. What were you doing down there? Looking for my I sister that doesn't exist. I wanted to... Wait a minute. That looks different from how I remember it. Alex, yeah. focus. What exactly were you doing down there? I... I wanted to... No. Please, sir. I don't want to come back here. Let me out. Alex, calm down. It's just an illusion. No. I want to get out of here. Help! Please, somebody, help me! For God's sake, stop following me. Leave me alone. Sam? Isn't it sweet how people try to escape their miserable fate? Sam, where are you? I need to get out of here. Please help me. Aw, my big brother needs help from his little sister. Isn't that funny? You've never been able to do anything yourself. You're just a pathetic loser. Come on. What are you... Sam, what are you talking about? What? It's the truth. I can't help it if you are so blind you can't see it. You've always been a miserable failure. No wonder you can't get anything done. You're not Sam. Sam would never say something like that to Wait, me. it didn't even occur to me oh, that she doesn't really? even have an accent. What's Sam like? Well, well... <laughs> what the hell? Come on, spit it out. Not How British? I, 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 I don't, I don't know, okay? I don't fucking know. I'll tell you something. I'm not that far away from you. If you manage to find me within two minutes, I'll show you the way out. Hmm. Time's running. Now. 
Why are you doing this, Sam? Damn, I have to hurry. It's too effing dark. Oh, jeez. I even knew that something was they gonna come. The paths are changing. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, they are. <laughs> you get away from me, you crazy, crazy bitch. <sighs> faster, Alex. Faster. I've got to find Sam and get out of here. It's not real, baby. Oh my god. Sure, this is exactly where I want to be. I'm too tall. Okay. Sam? I just want it to be over. What? Damn it, I can't do it. Doctor, can you hear me? I just can't make it. I, I want to get the hell out of bed. Wake up. I want to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Damn. Alex, are you alright? What happened? I was in the underground. I heard Sam again. What did she say? She was being mean to me. She, she made fun of me. Within two minutes, I had to find her, but I didn't make it. That was just an illusion. Don't worry. Alex, I need you to listen to me carefully. We will dive into your thoughts a third and last time. But this time we will go so deep that you should remember again. It will probably be worse than the last two dives. Are you ready? Do I have any choice? Good. Then close your eyes and focus on my voice again. Everything will be fine. Just don't put me back in the sewers. Okay, Alex. On the count of three, you open your eyes again. One. My apartment, maybe? Two. Three. Where are you right now? Better. I'm in the interrogation room. What are you doing here? Before I woke up in the hospital, I was arrested in the Winevale Park and questioned by the police. Why were you arrested and what did they ask you? I don't know anymore. I only saw Sam lying on the ground and before I could reach her, I was arrested by the police. I can't remember the questions. That's not true, Alex. What do you know? Not me, Alex. We. What does that mean? What do you mean by we? A painful truth is always better than a He was the guy in the subway that was like, They're all dead. Think... They're all dead. What the hell? Stop! You raggedy bitch. Stop! <laughs> God damn. Turn the light on. Officers? Hello? Oh! Hi! Hello? Alexander Green. Born on the 20th of February, 1994. Why do you guys sound Correct. so scary? Yeah? That's right. Who are you? I have some questions about your sister. Let's start straight away. Without hesitation. She'll be 16 How tomorrow. How old is your sister? She... Her birthday is the day after tomorrow. Mm. 
My bad. Wanted to meet and, and celebrate her birthday. You didn't say how, how old she was. How old did she become then? I don't 16. know anymore. Quite strange, oh. Alex. Next question. When did you last see your sister? At the park. I was supposed to meet her at the Winevale Park earlier. But when did you see her last? On the ground at the park. I don't know anymore. And are you really Alex <gasps> Green? Of course I am. Okay then, Alex. Then I have one last very simple question for you. What is your sister's name? Her name is... Well... What? My sister's name is... Yes. What is your sister's name, Alex? I... I... I don't know. Come on. How can you not know your own sister's name, Alex? I just don't know anymore. My thoughts are completely lost. Well, then maybe I should lock you up. What? What do you think about that? No. I have to see her again. She's out there waiting for me. Then tell me her fucking name. I don't fucking know. Tell me the truth, Alex. I don't have a sister. <laughs> oh. Alex? Hey, can you hear me? Wake up, Alex. I think I can remember everything again. The recording is running. Please tell us your name, age, and what happened. My name is Samantha, and I am 28 years old. I was... Hey, everything's okay. You've got no need to panic. You're safe here. I was walking in the Wineville Park when I suddenly noticed someone following me. I thought it was just my imagination, but then I saw a man wearing a hoodie. He seemed mentally distracted and often looked down at the ground, but he was always near me. At some point, he shouted something through the park. I couldn't understand it at first, until I suddenly heard my name. I looked back and saw him running towards me. I shouted as loud as I could and told him to leave me alone. My phone had run out of battery, so I quickly ran to the phone booth and called the police. This guy just kept going and locked the entrance to the park, so I was trapped. I saw an open manhole cover and climbed in, but even in the underground and in the sewers, he chased me. I... I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. When I took off my shoes in front of the other gate, I thought it would lead him on another track and waited hidden in the park until the police would arrive. But even then, I saw him looking for me. Please, you've got to lock this lunatic up. Dang. My name is Alex. Alexander Green. A year ago, my life changed suddenly. I finally had a great job, loving parents who supported me all the time. My own flat, and I was even able to buy my dream car, which I would wanted ever since I was a little boy. I couldn't believe how good my life had become after being constantly bullied and excluded. I still managed to go my own way and didn't let others drag me down. I hardly had any friends, but I constantly gave everything to achieve my goals. But one day, I had a car accident. A pretty bad one. The doctors weren't sure at first <gasps> whether I was going to survive at all. I think I have an idea. I was in a coma for a really long time. During that time, I saw someone. A little girl. Her name was Samantha. She was like a little sister to me. I couldn't talk to anyone but her during that time. She was the one person who cheered me up when I was down. She gave me courage when no one else could. When I finally woke up from the coma a few weeks later, Sam wasn't there anymore. I asked everywhere, but everyone just looked at me strangely. I needed to see her again, at any cost. The day I was released from the clinic, I was on my way home. 
when I walked through the park. And suddenly I saw someone who looked very much like Sam. I slowly walked towards her and called her by the name of Sam. When suddenly she ran away. I, I didn't know what I was doing at that moment. I didn't hear her shout. It was just a coincidence. Sam has never existed. Has she? Mm. So what about... What? So what about... What about the woman I was seeing in the tunnels, though? Like, I get that it was all part of his imagination, but why was that what he was manifesting? Like, the scary woman being like, Give me back my baby! Like, was that just... I thought it was going to come out that he had gone in that car accident and maybe that's what it is. That he actually did get in that accident and then that one little kid died and so that's why he was seeing, like, the mom. But then what's with, like, Will and Brian and em or, um, Paul and Brian and Emily? What? I really enjoyed that. It was... A quick and easy story for the most part. I mean, it's longer than the games I normally play, but it was only a little over three hours. And I really enjoyed it. I liked the story. I wish I had more questions answered. And maybe maybe that's user error. Maybe I am completely missing something or not putting something together that I should be. That might just be the way my brain works. Maybe it's completely obvious to other people. Um, that would be the one thing. I kind of thought that there was going to be, like, a flashback or, or something. But maybe he's just crazy. And Sam never existed, and that's just what it is. Um, poor Alex. I hope he gets help. Um, this is a great game. I think I bought this game for 10 bucks, And I think it was worth, worth the money. And I got a couple of videos out of it. So, that's always good, too. I hope that you enjoyed watching these videos. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're up to 50 subscribers now, which obviously is not a ton, but it's a lot to me. And it means a lot that you even take the time to click that button, even if you're not watching the videos. <laughs> um, I plan to play something soon within the next couple of days. There is a new Dark Anthology game coming out called The Devil and Me. I really want to play since I have decided to dip my toes in the water of longer gameplays. Now I'm all in and I'm like, well, what's stopping me? So I'm going to do it and I hope you guys will join me. But until then, I'll see you next time. Cheers.